Hey, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at a new leather from Church Bible Publishers. This is the Cranberry Water Buffalo in hand size full yap. And it is a full yap. It'll actually overlap top and bottom. We're not close to, almost touch top and bottom. But we have uh, Cranberry Water Buffalo with a nice green. I love this leather. This is my favorite leather from Church Bible Publishers. This and the chocolate. That's my two favorites. We have Premier Stitching. We have one, two, three, four, five spine hubs with gold printing, gold stamping for the text. And then I think that's honey. <laughs> I think they call it honey. Um, ribbons, really nice ribbons. Then leather liner. The way this is done by AA Leather. And the way they do theirs they they don't overlap this leather with the liner it comes to an edge and you can't tell where one stops and where the other starts there's the corner work corner work looks elegant everything about this looks elegant golden brown head tail bands and this this that's it it's edge lined of course that's a that's a nice leather i love that leather just a quick rundown of what this Bible is. This is the hand size turquoise, which I have already reviewed. But I'll tell you some differences between this one and the previous edition that I reviewed. It's different paper. The paper that I originally had was uh, slightly smoother. This is a little bit rougher texture. Other than that, it's about the same. No glare under direct light. We're under direct light right here. It looks good. I like this paper a lot. Good dark print. One more difference between this one and the original. This one has the Bible dictionary in the back so they've added that back in so if you're familiar with the old Cambridge Bible dictionary this is the one that that they use in the uh, the Concord so if you're familiar with that then you'll be you'll know what's going on here and then we have a few pages for notes and that's it couple of quick comparisons between this one and some other yap editions first I want to compare to the original turquoise hand size turquoise it is thinner because it doesn't have the dictionary and then the footprint is noticeably different because of it doesn't have a yap but it is the same Bible other than slightly different paper and this one having the dictionary there's the difference in the yap I'll zoom so you can see that give you an idea of how much overhang this has here's how it compares with the regular size turquoise in water buffalo and this is the chocolate these two are my favorite and I'm kind of leaning toward the, the cranberry but you can see the difference in thickness there the personal size or hand size is still a bit thicker because of having the dictionary. But these are, this one does not have a yap. But they do have the same liner. And they do have the same design. Here's how they compare. These two make an excellent combo. One of my favorite Bibles. This is the regular size turquoise. Just a quick comparison how they look. I don't have a lot of Bibles with full yap, but this one is the Traveris from Scholar. Scholar Bibles. And there's how they compare. Noticeably larger yap on the Church Bible Publishers. As far as the leather goes, this is calfskin, not ironed calfskin. I'll show you that in a minute. This is not the same thing as, as the iron calfskin. You wouldn't even know that they're both calfskin. But there's uh, the, how they compare in green. Let's, let's do that comparison real quick. I get this question a lot, which is why I want to go ahead and show this. This is iron calfskin from Church Bible Publishers. And this is calfskin from Schuyler. They're not the same leather. 
not even close. This is a lot thicker, a lot um, sturdier. This is this scratch is easy from Church Bible Publishers. Doesn't have much grain, and you can see the it, it's a thin leather. That's a synthetic liner, and it, this will warp in the heat. It'll go back, but it does warp in the heat, and it doesn't really feel elegant. This one from Schuyler feels elegant. It does not warp in the heat. It has a little bit more grain, a little bit more visual texture in the color. And leather liner. This is a thick leather. This not even the same. Not not even close. Nowhere near close. I love to see Church Bible Publishers with a, a leather more along this quality than this quality. This is my least favorite cover from Church Publishers. This being my favorite my next favorite being lambskin or cowhide i don't have the cowhide to compare but i do like the lambskin and then the next one is the full yap canterbury and here's how they compare it does touch and then this overlaps this is a, a larger yap but it does overlap that's that's bigger than what it needs to be really but it's nice here's how their texture compares this one is goat skin that's how they compare and we'll take a look here at their liners and how they compare so that's a quick look at the hand size full yap edition this will be available in multiple um, bibles which is why i didn't spend a lot of time on the hand size turquoise it's available in several different um, Bibles. It's well made. I love the feel of this. It's easy to carry. It's easy to use because it doesn't it doesn't keep that conform shape. So when you're using the Bible, this is not in your way to get down there to that page. I'm not a fan of Bibles that just create a a, a wall there. But you can train that if that's what you want. You, you can train that and, you know, put that in saran wrap or however you want to handle that. And that will, it will keep that shape. But this does protect the cover. One thing I did notice is that this edition, one difference between this one and their original water buffalo. The original water buffalo had art gill edges. So there's a little bit of a pink color, but as you can see, as you can see, it wasn't consistent. They don't even bother with it on this one. It's just gone. Everything else is the same as far as the ribbons and all that. But they did they did do away with the art gilt. Which, that does not bother me. Because if you're going to use your Bible, the gilt is the first thing to go. It will not last anyway. So, But this does help protect the edges of the page. And every time I'm carrying a Bible, my Bibles tend to bend right there anyway. So it might as well fold over and protect the ed edges. So I like that. I'll post some links in the notes where you can uh, see photos of this on Bible Buying Guide and that you can make a purchase at Church Bible Publishers. This is not my review copy. It is a review copy, but I don't get to keep this. So I'm sending this back, which means I won't be able to do any comparisons or answer questions. So hopefully there's enough information here to help. Thanks for watching.